look at your compass here in this exercise, uh, your Silver Ranger compass. We'll look at some, some parts here, okay? This red arrow here, okay, that's what we call the compass housing. Here's needle, okay? Here's the needle. This is, okay, you may see a little black arrow behind there, right? It may be kind of hard to see. I'll go ahead and see if I can tilt it. See that black arrow right there? All right, next to the, the white needle. All right, that we can use for measuring uh, slope and uh, uh, declination and whatnot. We have our bearings that are around this ring. Okay. Also, towards the bottom of your compass, if you look down here, all right, you'll see your declination settings. All right. And you'll need to set the declination to uh, your area. Double black line that's below the shed there, that's what you're going to use to set your declination. My hunch is if you just pulled your compass out of the box, your declination is set to zero. Okay. So how do we set the declination? Again, declination is what? When magnetic north pulls our, wants to pull our compass, our reading um, to it. All right. And so we can set the declination to adjust for that. So we're getting a true bearing. So what you'll see is you'll first need, before you do this, you want to identify the declination in your area. Here in Haywood County in western North Carolina, we're, we're um, about five degrees, six degrees west. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to get your, the needle here, that, that's the, you know, that little ne or that lanyard that's a part of your, your uh, compass there on your, on your neck uh, tie there that goes around your neck, a little lanyard that goes around your neck. You're going to want to flip your compass over, and on the back of the compass, you'll see a little needle, okay, or a little, I'm sorry, a little screw. That's what you're going to use to, to adjust your declination, all right? You can either turn it right or left, and it'll move your declination setting either east or west. Screw, okay. I'm going to tilt my compass back over like this so you, can, you guys can kind of see it, all right? I'm going to put that screw in there, and it's kind of hard to see now, isn't it? Oh, the joys of technology. And turn it, and as I do that, you should see your declination begin to turn, okay? That black, that black arrow, or that, the double black line at the bottom of your shed there will move. Okay, so in this exercise, what we want to do is learn how to um, determine the bearing between two points out in the field. All right, first step, again, get over point A, so you're right lined up on top of it. You want to be holding the compass flat in the base of your hand, so it's parallel to the ground, right? Real, real uh, as a flat surface, as level as possible, okay? And then what you want to do is pick your compass up, all right? and fold the mirror over. You can see like I'm doing here. You want to fold the mirror over so you can see your bearings in the reflection of the mirror. Okay, so you're looking into the mirror. You can see the bearings, right, the reflection of your bearings in the mirror. And then you want to turn your compass until Fred is in the shed or the red part of the needle is in the compass housing. And it's completely lined up. Both the red part of the needle is in the housing, okay, and the white part of the needle, okay, is uh, lined up with the declination setting. Once you've done that, okay, you can read your bearing between those two points. So when we're trying to determine the bearing between two points, we get over the point, we bring down that mirror, all right, so we can see the reflection because we don't want to keep looking down. We want to keep looking at our target object. So we want to be sighting it using that little bullseye sight there on the top part of your Silver Ranger. See that? That's your little bullseye sight there. Right there. Okay. That's what you're going to be wanting to use to sight. So you want to have the ref be seeing the reflection and keeping your eye aimed on where you want to go. Then, using your mirror, turn Fred so that he's in the shed there, all right? Get the needle in the compass housing. And then what you can do is read your bearing here, okay? So for in this case, the, the bearing between point A and B is what? South, 
68 degrees east. All right, all right. So south, 68 degrees east. That's my front sight. My back sight would be, all right, at least just directly from this reading on the compass, what? North, what? 68 degrees, all right, west. Our compass, right, cheer, all right. I'm ready to sight over to point A, all right. I'm going to hold my compass so it's flat, all right, parallel to the ground, nice and level. I'm going to tilt my mirror, okay, so I can see my bearings, okay. I'm going to close my left eye and aim on the target, and I'm going to turn till I have the compass housing lined up, all right. The red arrow is in the red shed, and the white arrow is right over in between those two black housing parts in the end. Then I'm able to read my bearing.